Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 1. Well, the last three episodes were absolutely hilarious. My favorite one was when Sheldon tried to cover up <laughs> Leonard's lies. It was 10 out of 10. And I kind of noticed that Penny started like touching Leonard more, give him more attention. I see you, Penny. I see you. But yes, yeah, so funny, so good so far. And I'm excited to see what's gonna happen today. So let's talk, in, guys. Let's get started. Oh, wow, is it chess? Advanced chess? <laughs> that looks hard. Checkmate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> not even Obviously surprised not that Sheldon well won. For three dimensional chess. Perhaps three dimensional candy land would be Three dimensional? Oh my god. That's really Must some new level stuff. So many different levels. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Did you get my mail? Yeah, right here. Oh, you still do this Nebraska. thing. Well, better than North Dakota. <laughs> I guess that joke's only funny in Nebraska. <laughs> How's your family? Oh, it was the worst trip. Everyone got sick over the weekend. Aww. Sick? Here we go. Well, what kind of sick? Uh, the flu, I guess. But I don't need you to guess. I need you to know. Now, when did the <laughs> symptoms first appear? Penny, you'll have to excuse Sheldon. He's a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I understand. Thanks for your consideration. Now, please leave. <laughs> you better go before he starts spraying you with Lysol. Well, thank you for getting my mail. No problem. Welcome home. <laughs> oh, Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. <laughs> but understandable. Let's be honest. Understandable. Oh my god, what are you doing, Sheldon? I'm making petri dishes to grow throat cultures. <laughs> what? Lime jello? I need a growth medium, and someone polished off the apricot yogurt. <laughs> Here, swab my throat. Oh my god. I don't think so. Leonard, if I'm going to get ahead of this thing, I need to find out what's growing in my throat. And having never been to Nebraska, I'm fairly certain that I have no corn husking antibodies. <laughs> so don't you think you're overreacting? I'm going back to bed. Wait. Put this in the bathroom. What for? I need to measure my fluid intake and output to make sure my kidneys aren't shutting down. Ooh. I mix pancake batter in this. Ew. No, that measuring cup has always been for urine. You had time to make a label for everything in this apartment, including the label maker, but you didn't have 10 it's seconds to make one that said urine cup. It's right here on the bottom. No! So good. Well, I'm sure you can see it. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. That's bad sign. Leonard, I'm sick. <laughs> oh no. Leonard. Leonard. <coughs> Leonard. <laughs> Leonard, where are you? I'm at work. <laughs> at 6.30 in the morning? Yes. On Sunday? Yes. Why? He they just loves come. his work so much. Ring. As I predicted, I am sick. My fever has been tracking You just manifested, Sheldon. <laughs> and I am producing sputum at an alarming rate. <laughs> Get some rest and drink plenty of fluids. What else would I drink? Gases? Solids? Ionized plasma? <laughs> drink whatever you want. I want soup. Then make soup. We don't have soup. I'm at work, Sheldon. Order it. <laughs> it's Leonard, code Milky Green. Dear Lord, not Milky Green. Affirmative, with fever. Who's on the phone? It's Leonard! Why is he calling? Sheldon's sick! Were you playing with him? <laughs> Sake, Mom, 26 years old. Excuse me, Mr. Grown Up. <laughs> what do you want for breakfast? You're always Talk gonna be a baby for please. your mama. Hang on, call waiting. Don't, don't. Hello, Howard. 
I'm sick. Howard's sleeping. This is his mother. <laughs> Why are you like, and Howard is really good at like yeah. imitating voices when he did sick. what for oh, Raj. <laughs> now for his mom. I tried to stop you. My own fault. I forgot the protocol we put in place after the great year infection of 06. <laughs> Ma, can my friends come over? I just had the carpet steam. <laughs> That's a negatory. <laughs> but there's a Planet of the Apes marathon at the New Art today. Five movies, two hours apiece. It's a start. <laughs> Why would you go to the restaurant when you ill like that? What are you doing here? I'm sick. Thank you very much. How could you have gotten it from me? I'm not sick. You're a carrier. All these people here are doomed. You're doomed! <laughs> I want soup. Why didn't you just have soup at home? Betty, I have an IQ of 187. Don't you imagine that if there were a way for me to have had soup at home, I would have thought of it? You can have soup delivered. <laughs> That's what I thought. I did not think of that. <laughs> Okay, what kind of soup do you want? The uh, chicken soup is the best soup we when you eat. Yeah. <laughs> so loud, Sheldon. Would you call that moss green or forest oh, green? Wow. Oh wow. Look at this. Everyone went chimp. <laughs> well, I'd like to point out I voted for orangutan, but you shouted me down. Hi, Penny. Hey, where are you? I'm uh at work. Mm, you sound funny. Oh, I, I'm, uh, in a, I'm in a radiation suit. Sheldon's at the Cheesecake Factory. Mm. Just tell him to go home. He won't leave. He says he's afraid he'll pass out on the bus and someone will harvest his organs. <laughs> Can you please come get him? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to, Penny. <laughs> oh my god, there's a breach in the radiation unit! The whole city is in jeopardy! <laughs> I feel really guilty. You did what you had to do. Take your stinking paws off my popcorn, you <laughs> damn dirty ape! Oh, it's okay. I didn't really need to work today. It's not like I have rent or car payments or anything. Good, good. <laughs> You're going to leave me? Make yeah, sure you easy. Man. Have you ever been sick before? Of course, but not by myself. Really? Never? Sweetie, I'll take care of you. What do you need? Well, my mom used to give me sponge baths. Oh no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, girl, your charm's no not gonna baths, help you, Sheldon. No Ten and a half hours of AP goodness. <laughs> oh, damn it, my glasses. Okay, I'm blind here, guys. Can you help me find them? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh no, did you step on them? <gasps> oh, great. Uh, Penny, uh, I was just wondering, is Sheldon still at the restaurant? Okay, that was very nice of you. Okay, I gotta go. Got kind of a full blown Chernobyl thing here. Gotta go back. <laughs> He's home. I'm screwed. Ten and a half hours of AP blurriness. How about LASIK? <laughs> you want me to get eye surgery? Okay. Would you rather go back to the apartment and deal with Sheldon or have a stranger carve out your corneas with a laser beam? <laughs> well, I'm thinking. <laughs> Will you please rub this on my chest? <laughs> <laughs> but Sheldon... Please, 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 please. <laughs> Can Again, I would soft literally be dying laughing, you know, if I was, was one of the actors. Was sick. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I don't know it. I'll teach you. <laughs> of course, soft you're gonna teach you. kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Oh, you're gonna make me roll asleep. <laughs> now you. Little ball of fur. 
she's gonna strangle him for sure. What? What the hell is this? Boy camera, oh wow. <laughs> My spare glasses are in my bedroom, on my dresser, next to my bat signal. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Raj? No way, Jose. Well, I can't do it. I can't see anything. It's all right. Wireless minicam and Bluetooth headset will be your eyes. Fine. I already Demo. can see Penny coming out. They're left. <laughs> now keep trying. Unless she already what? left. You just say go straight. You don't say go straight when you're giving bearings. You say keep true. All right. I just hit my head. <laughs> okay, turn right. The, the, the picture's breaking up. Angle your head to the right. No, <laughs> A little more. You're close enough to Sheldon's room. Deploy oh, the sensor. wasn't on no then why did i have to crawl well i guess he didn't <laughs> oh my god this is okay, hilarious good hang on the sensor's picking up something turn your head back <laughs> Benny, oh no. you rat bastard <laughs> Sensor would work. <laughs> oh no. Hi. Betty, I'm hungry. Uh, it's okay, sweetie. Good news. Let her tell. No. <laughs> now oh, Sheldon wait. is your problem. Dinner. I'm hungry. Wait, oh, Penny, take me with you. <laughs> oh, oh now everybody injured, sick. <laughs> I can see God's <laughs> oh, So good. Do you think Penny will come here and take care of us? I don't think so. <laughs> She's gone I don't forever. Think Penny's ever coming here again. Exactly. <laughs> can you go to the kitchen and get me the turkey baster labeled mucus? <laughs> if I stand, I'll vomit. <laughs> Under the sink, yellow Tupperware bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this. <laughs> Here's the problem with teleportation. Conversation starter. <laughs> on me. Assuming a device could be invented, which would identify the quantum state of matter of an individual in one location, you would not have actually transported the individual. You would have destroyed him in one location and recreated him in another. Would the new Sheldon be in any way an improvement on the old Sheldon? <laughs> no, he would be exactly the same. Uh, no. What is the problem? <laughs> so you see it too. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Dennis Kim. Dennis is a highly sought-after doctoral candidate, and we're hoping to have him do his graduate work here. Graduate work? Very impressive. And he's only 15 years old. Not bad. Oh, wow. I myself started graduate school at 14. I thought maybe you boys could show Dennis around, let him see why we're the best physics research facility in the country. I already know you're not. You don't have an open science grid computer what? or a free electron laser. And the string theory research being done here is nothing but a dead end. Excuse me, that is my research and it is by no means a dead end. Well, obviously you don't see it yet, but trust me, you will. Oh wow, I feel like Sheldon yes, just either gonna this. We're in the be so jealous of or I don't know. We welcome your input on our research goals and we've agreed to look the other way if you want to use up to 20% of the something. grant. What the hell do you mean, dead end? <laughs> I mean, the whole landscape of false vacuums and string theory could be as large as 10 to the 500th power. I sense a disturbance in the force. <laughs> a bad feeling I have about this. Sheldon, mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sheldon oh, Leonard is like, yes, someone can in with Sheldon. So Dennis, how long have you been in America? A year and a half. No kidding, you speak English really well. So do you. <laughs> All right. And this is my office. Is this part of the tour? Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on, like I'm not dealing with you. Bye. All right. This is my desk. These are my books. This is my door. Please close it behind you. Goodbye. Looks like you're doing work in quantum loop corrections. Keen observation. Goodbye. <laughs> you see where it went wrong, don't you? 
Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> Leonard just having the time of his life. It's startling to me you haven't considered a Lorentz and Vera in your field theory approach. You think I haven't considered it? You really think I haven't considered it? Get him out, Leonard. Come on, Dennis. I'll show you the radiation lab. You won the Stevenson Award? Yes. In fact, I am the youngest person ever to win it. Fourteen and a half. You were the youngest person ever to win it. <laughs> oh my god, Sheldon just, uh... I'm gonna go crazy over this kid. Something you'd like to share? A tale of woe, perhaps. <laughs> fifteen years old. Dennis Kim is fifteen years old and he's already correcting my work. Today I went from being Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart to... You know, that other guy. Antonio Salieri. Oh, God, now even you're smarter than me. <laughs> you know, Sheldon, we're going have so down, many friends Sheldon. that you can afford to start insulting them. <laughs> Why waste food? In Texas, when a cow goes dry, they don't keep feeding it. They just take her out and shoot her between the eyes. I'm confused. Did Sheldon stop giving milk? <laughs> you always knew that someday someone would come along who was younger and smarter. Yeah, yes, it's always but like I that. assumed I would have been That's dead hundred just works. by his name because he'd be a... <laughs> so you got a little competition. I really don't see what the big deal is. Well, of course you don't. You've never excelled at anything. <laughs> I don't understand exactly. How did he get any friends in the first place? We like Leonard. <laughs> well, what are you gonna Sheldon do, just Sheldon? Just give up? Like as a pack, yes. so it's like. That's what a rational Leonard. person does when his entire life's Leonard? work is invalidated by a post Hey. Hey. I've decided you're right. My career is not over. Great. But since the arrival of Dennis Kim has rendered my research pointless, I just have to find something else to focus on. Great. So I've decided I'm going to collaborate with you. <laughs> Yay <Great>. for Leonard! <laughs> so what exactly is it you do? I know you chatter on about it all the time, but I've never really paid attention. <laughs> of course. Okay, well, right now I'm designing an experiment to study the soft component of cosmic radiation at sea level, but I really don't need any help. Oh, sure you do. What happens if you use argon <laughs> lasers instead of helium neon? It would blow up. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like while you're, you're watching the Big Bang Theory, theory me, your you name can, can go take first. a shot every time Leonard says, go away. <laughs> to engineering, where the noble, semi-skilled laborers <laughs> execute the vision of those you who think and down. dream. Hello, Oompa Loompas of science. <laughs> oh, my God, Sheldon, relax. Sheldon, what are you doing here? I just came by to say hello. I've been in this lab for three years. You've never come by to say hello. Well, up until now, I've had better things to do. So, what are we making today? A small payload support structure for a European science experimental package that's going up on the next space shuttle. When this is done, it will be attached to the payload bay and the sensor apparatus will rest on it. So it's a shelf. No, you don't understand. During acceleration, it needs to stay perfectly level and provide... Yeah, okay, it's a shelf. <laughs> Sheldon? Yes? Go away! <laughs> Did Leonard tell you to say that? No, I thought of it all by myself. Can't be a coincidence. There must be some causal link I'm missing. Are you gonna go to Raj now? Go away! <laughs> Poor Sheldon. Curiouser and curiouser. You know what he did? He watched me work for 10 minutes and then started to design a simple piece of software that could replace me. Is that even possible? As it turns out, yes. <laughs> He'll never be able to cope with the fact that some 15-year-old kid is smarter and more accomplished than he is. Well, what if something were to happen to this boy so he was no longer a threat to Sheldon? What? Are you gonna just remove then the kid? problem would be solved. <laughs> but, uh, hang on, are we talking about murdering Dennis Kim? No, just tell him to go Not away. Not no. The one thing that can completely derail a world-class mind. Howard, he's 15. Yeah, so when I was 15, I met Denise Palmieri, and my grade point average fell from a 5.0 to a 1.8. Oh, good, you're all Oh, here. no! I've decided that if the three of you drop whatever it is you're working on and join me, we could lick cold fusion in less than a decade. 12 years tops. <laughs> Go <laughs> away. <laughs> Could it be me? Yes. Oh, hey 
guys, what's up? We need a hot 15-year-old Asian girl with a thing for smart guys. <laughs> what? Howard, that's racist. Any 15-year-old girl will do the trick. <laughs> I think it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it's possible she may have misunderstood us. Yeah, you should have thought about it, like how it's gonna sound. <laughs> I think you'll appreciate this. It's very exciting. I'm going to solve the Middle East crisis by building an exact replica of Jerusalem in the middle of the Mexican desert. To what end? You know, it's like the baseball movie. You build it and they will come. Oh Who will come? The Jewish people. We're having a small welcoming party this afternoon for Mr. Kim, who's agreed to join us here at the university. Of uh, course he oh. has. The Oracle told us <laughs> little Neo was the one. You can see the Matrix, can't you? Okay. Well, uh, obviously you're very Should busy with your... Should going uh, a little um, bit crazy. You'll have to excuse Dr. Cooper. He's been under a lot of... Um, he's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> there is no explanation. <laughs> Why are all these young women here? It's take your daughter to work day. Really? I was not aware of that. Oh, yes. There was a very official email that was sent to everyone whose insurance files indicated they had daughters between the ages of 14 and 16. Hmm. Smooth. Thank you. <laughs> There's the man of the room. Okay, so we now have a socially awkward genius in a room full of attractive, age-appropriate women. All he has to do now is hook up with one of them. Oh, maybe he's a bit nervous or he doesn't really care. Does anyone else see the flaw in this plan? <laughs> we need a social catalyst. Like what? We can't get 15-year-old girls drunk. Or can we? No, we can't. No, Howard, it's a big no-no. Don't think you mean we no, no. you mean we shouldn't. Hey, Howard, you're a Jew. If there was another wailing wall, exactly like the one in Jerusalem, but close to taco stands and cheap prescription drugs, would you still be able to wail at it? Go okay, away. it's definitely me. Could I have everyone's attention, please? What a wonderful occasion this is. And how fortunate that it should happen to fall on Take Your Daughter to Work Day. <laughs> We're here to welcome Mr. Dennis Kim to our little family. Welcome, Dennis Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yay! Kim was not a Let me introduce the man of the hour, Mr. Dennis Kim. <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> Dennis? What? <laughs> Would you like to tell us a little bit about your upcoming research? Uh, no, thanks. I'm going to the mall with Emma. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He got the girl. Uh, the That's girl. it. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's it. That was that did easy. Did anyone see how he did it? <laughs> Forget the mission. How did that little yutz get a girl on his own? The best times have changed since we were young. Smart is the new sexy. <laughs> then why do we go home alone every night? We're still smart. Maybe we're too smart. So smart it's off-putting. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> I don't know if the ticket was so much for the launch as it was for you telling the policewoman, you have to frisk me, I have another rocket in my pants. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's Dennis oh, Kim. What? Wow, I almost didn't That's recognize him. That's bad. Don't you know, do that. Bad, what we... Yeah, we really ruined his life. <laughs> Screw him, he was weak. <laughs> God. That's kind of sad. Ooh, more details about the new Star Trek film. There's going to be a scene depicting Spock's birth. I'd be more interested in a scene depicting Spock's conception. Hi, can you help me? I was writing an email and the A key got stuck. Now it's just going, ah! <laughs> What'd you spill on it? Nothing. Diet Coke. <laughs> and yogurt. <laughs> nail polish I'll everything <laughs> gentlemen switching to local nerd news fishman chen chowdhury and mcnair aren't fielding a team in the university physics bowl this year you're kidding why not they formed a barbershop quartet and got a gig playing knoxbury farm wow so in your world you're like the cool guys recognize <laughs> after all these years this is our year with those guys out the entire physics bowl will kneel before zod zod 
Kryptonian villain, long story. Good story. <gasps> Count me out. What? Come Why? on, Rash, we're what getting close. Why, well, remember how you felt, Webster Rash? Just keep trying. Would you, you ask Jacques Cousteau to play Ghost Fit? Come on, you need a four person team. We're four people. By that reasoning, we should also play bridge, hold up a hoopa, and enter the Olympic bobsled competition. Uh, tickets to that, please. Sheldon, what? Do I need to quote Spock's dying words to you? No, don't. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. <laughs> it's like a one. secret spell on Sheldon. Damn it, I'll do it. <laughs> Our whole universe was we need a truly kick ass team name. Suggestions? How the about scientists. the perpetual motion squad? How about that? <laughs> it's beyond. Teams are traditionally named after fierce creatures, thus intimidating one's opponent. Then we could be the Bengal Tigers. Poor choice. Yet, gram for gram, no animal exceeds the relative fighting strength of the army ant. <laughs> Maybe so. But you can't incinerate a Bengal tiger with a magnifying glass. All those in favor... Point of order. I move that any vote on team names must be unanimous. No man should be forced to emblazon his chest with a Bengal tiger when common sense dictates it should be an army ant. After we go through the exercise of an annoying series of votes, all of which the gentleman will lose, does he then intend to threaten to quit if he does not get his way? He does. I move we are the army ants. All those in favor? Good afternoon, and welcome to today's Physics Bowl practice round. I'm Penny, and I'll be your host, because apparently I didn't have anything else to do on a Saturday afternoon, and isn't that just a little sad? <laughs> Gentlemen, are you ready? I yes. think it's Fire fun away. time, you know? Yeah, well, I would love to do that. Can't. What is the shortest light pulse ever produced? Dr. Cooper. And of course, the answer is 130 atto seconds. That is correct. I knew that too. <laughs> Next question. What is the quantum mechanical effect used to encode data on hard disk drives? Howard. And of course, the answer is giant magneto <laughs> resistance. Right. Hey, I buzzed in. And I answered. It's called teamwork. <laughs> Okay, Sheldon, I'm going to answer all the questions. What artificial satellite has seen glimpses of Einstein's predicted frame dragging? And of course, it's gravity <laughs> probe B. Sheldon, you have to let somebody else answer. Why? Because it's polite. What do manners have to do with it? This is war. <laughs> Some of us might have the correct answers, too. Oh, please, you don't even have a PhD. All right, that's it. Howard, sit down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should take a little break. Uh, Good idea. I need my wrist brace. All this button pushing is aggravating my old Nintendo injury. He compared Sheldon to a disposable feminine cleansing product one might use on a summer's eve. <laughs> yeah, and the bag it came in. I've designed the perfect uniforms for our team. The colors are based on Star Trek, the original series. The three of you will wear support red, and I will wear command gold. <laughs> Of course. Why do they say <laughs> AA? Army ants. Never mind. For me, I thought about the batteries. Check it out. <laughs> I got you a Batman cookie jar. Oh, neat. What's the occasion? Well, you're a friend and you like Batman and cookies and you're off the team. Oh, what? What? Howard, Raj, and I just had a team meeting. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. I just came from there. Okay, I don't know where you just came from, but it couldn't have been a team meeting because I'm on the team and I wasn't there. Ergo, the team did not meet. Why? Because you're taking all the fun out of it. Well, Aww. at this point, I, I like should so inform you upset that about I it. intend to form my own team and destroy the molecular bonds that bind your very matter together and reduce the resulting particulate chaos to tears. One more thing. Yes? It's on, bitch. <laughs> My drop! <laughs> I see we wait until he looks at us, then laugh like, yes, you are a smart and strong competitor, <laughs> but we are also smart and strong and we have a reasonable chance of defeating you. <laughs> How exactly would that laugh go? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds more like we are a tall, thin woman who wants Ooh. to make a coat out of your Dalmatians. <laughs> Guys, let's remember that Sheldon is still our friend and my roommate. So? So nothing. Let's destroy him. <laughs> Gentlemen. 
I'm gonna need a strong fourth. Gentlemen, I believe I've found the solution to all our problems. We can't. Yeah, that was about to say. Can't ask. She's smart. Why? Because you slept together, and when she was done with you, she discarded you like last night's chutney. <laughs> Come on, I'm pretty sure she will be more than yes. happy to destroy Sheldon. <laughs> Sometimes you don't. Hey, Leslie. Hi, guys. So, uh, Leslie, I have a question for you, and it might be a little awkward. We are entering the physics bowl, and we need a fourth for our team. No, thanks. I'm really busy with my like sign to lepton supersymmetry search. Die lepton my lepton. We need you. <laughs> You gotta be against oh, Sheldon. Tried. Just have to face Sheldon mano e mano e mano a mano. Wait, you're going up against Sheldon Cooper? Yes. Yeah. That arrogant, misogynistic East Texas doorknob that told me I should abandon my work with high energy particles for That's what I thought. And bearing. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> it was easy. So? You don't, you don't have to stay for the whole thing. Oh, no, no, I want to. Sounds really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm curious Gentlemen. who's going to be in his Sheldon. team. Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that your team? That's kind of cool. You Actually, I don't need a team. I could easily defeat you single-handedly, but the rules require four. So, may I introduce the third floor janitor? The lady from the lunchroom, and my Spanish is not good, either her son or her butcher. Hello, Sheldon. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Leslie Winkle. Yeah, Leslie Winkle. The answer to the question, who made Sheldon Cooper cry like a little girl? <laughs> yes, well, I'm polymerized tree sap, and you're an inorganic adhesive. Oh my so god, it's gonna be a really good competition. <laughs> off of me, I to would pay money to see and this to in you. real life. <laughs> Here's your t-shirt. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, <laughs> it's a couple days early. <laughs> no. It, it stands for Perpetual Motion Squad. Oh, right, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Not and too welcome obvious to this year's letters, no. physics ball. <laughs> yeah, so I think they will win because okay, well, even though Sheldon is smart, but question. still... For, For ten points, what smart is the isospin brain, smart singlet people partner there. of the Pi Zero Mason? PMS, the Eta Mason. Correct. With no stable isotope. AA. And of course, the answer is technetium. Terrific. <laughs> Next question. What is the four quantum computer to press factor the large numbers? PMS. Shor's algorithm. Correct. <laughs> Penny. 760 degrees Celsius, the approximate temperature of the young lady in the front room. <laughs> Mr. Wolowitz, this is your second warning. <laughs> uh, correct. <laughs> Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, I hold in my hand the final question. Oh. The score now. Please turn your attention to the formula on the screens. Solve oh my gosh. the equation. I can do that easily. <laughs> Leslie? Leonard, it's not going to work if you rush me. You have to let me get there. You are never going to let that go, are you? <laughs> Ten seconds. PMS. Sorry, I panicked. <laughs> then guess. Um, eight. <laughs> Point four. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. He doesn't have it. He's got squat. What? Oh no, he's broken! He's broken! The answer is minus eight pi alpha. Hang on, hang on a second. That's not our answer. What are you doing? Answering question. Winning physics bowl. <laughs> Here I am janitor in former Soviet Union. I am physicist. <laughs> Leningrad Polytechnica. Go polar bears. <laughs> AA, I need your official answer. 
Well, it's not what he said. Then what is it? I want a different question. You can't have a different question. Formal protest. Denied. Informal protest. <laughs> Denied. I need your official answer. No, I declined to provide one. Well, that's too bad, because the answer your teammate gave was correct. What? That's your opinion? Oh, no. Uh, All right, the win. Is proving that you are single-handedly smarter than everyone else so important that you would rather lose by yourself than win as part of a team? I don't understand the question. <laughs> Go ahead. The winner is PMS. Yay! Well done. <laughs> that was so Sorry, good. Sorry, somebody's sitting there. Who? My physics ball trophy. <laughs> <laughs> that trophy is meaningless. I forfeited it. Yeah, before yeah, you did yeah. Of course. So disagree. jealous. Who? I can feel My the jealousy. Physics ball. Sheldon, who? All right, that is very <laughs> immature. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I will do the okay, same, well, Leonard. So I'm not blaming you. Right. I am settling once and for all who is the smartest around here. Okay? Are you ready? Absolutely. Bring it on. Okay. Marsha, Jan, and Cindy were the three daughters in what TV family? Not well. The Brady Bunch. All right, Madonna was married to this Ridgemont High alum. Come on. Oh remember. my God, it's Sean Penn! How do you know these things? I go outside and I talk to people. <laughs> All right, singer who sang Oops, I Did It Again? Oh, Britney Spears! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tweety Bird taught he taught a what? Romulan. <laughs> yes, he taught he taught a Romulan. <sighs> Just give up. <laughs> Oh, wow guys that was such a hilarious episode i love them so much the most <laughs> no the best one is obviously sheldon losing to leonard how oh i don't know i can't wish sheldon literally no words but it's so funny i mean this is sheldon this is how he is you know this is sheldon <laughs> as i said that if i would win this whatever prize i will also do that to Shanda but again look at my prize look I got it <laughs> and you don't have it because I'm sure it will be hilarious well the journey so far is amazing every episode just like completely different but funny I'm obsessed so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this reaction please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends and don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love and I'll see you in the next video bye guys